Hey, how's it going? Hey, hi, how are you? What do you got? Got some buttons here for you to look at from 1945-46. Look, this one's for you, wimpy. Chum, don't make me kick your ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try some of my pet buttons. They're cartoon characters from cereal boxes 50, 60 years ago. I really don't have any idea of the value, so I'm not sure what I can get for them. If we're downsizing, we just want to get rid of them. So how old do you think these are? They say 1945, 46 on them. I'm not that familiar with these. I do know that pep buttons came from pep cereal, which is like Kellogg's trying to compete with Wheaties. Mm -hmm. Pep cereal came out in the 1920s. This is before companies had characters like Tony the Tiger, so they marketed it to kids with like inbox toys and what have you. Looks like they're a part of some type of series. Some kid was probably trying to collect all of them. It's Popeye. There's Popeye, uh, there's Dude. Superman, a bunch of real old characters. I don't know how they released them in the series. Superman really didn't have nothing to do with Wimpy. No. And no. Felix the Cat, I don't think, had anything to do with the others either. Man, this kid must have ate a lot of Pep cereal to get all these. These pins are in great condition, but I don't know how complete this collection really is, and I don't really know where to start on price. I know old cartoon characters can be collectible. Okay. Let me call my buddy Johnny, who knows all about this stuff. Okay. Have him come down and take a look at it. Okay, sounds good. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you. What do we got here? I know they're pet buttons, but I don't know that much about them. I'm Johnny Jimenez, owner of Toy Shack Las Vegas. We specialize in Hot Wheels and vintage action figures. Back in the mid-40s, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of toys. There wasn't like a huge aisle like you see today at the stores. Kids opening up a cereal and have a little toy to play with is pretty neat back then. So what can you tell me about them, man? Well, these come from Kellogg's. Kellogg's been around for over 100 years, and they were the first cereal company to start giving away gifts with purchase of cereal. It was a big part of their success. These came out from 1945 to 1947. There was about five sets of 16. It looks like you have most of them here. The more popular pins are gonna be, of course, like some of the superheroes. There you got Superman. Um, a lot of people collect uh, specific things, like Felix the Cat, Popeye, and stuff like that. Pet buttons are highly collectible. People didn't hang on to them too much, plus they're small. They probably easily got lost. So what do you think they're worth? Well, I mean, these are still highly collectible. They're still a big market for pet pins, um, especially they're in pretty good condition. You know, I have no rust. Most of the colors are pretty clean. If I were to put a price on this right here in a retail setting, you're looking anywhere from $650 to $800. Really? OK. OK, it's good. More than I thought. Well, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for having me. I think it is a cool collection. He had a little bit of everything, a lot of the main characters there, and a lot of different buttons. So what are you looking to get for him? Well, he said around six to eight. How about we start at uh, six? The problem with six is I'm assuming that's what I'm going to get for him. He said six to eight. I'd like to offer you around three. But he said we've got pretty much a complete set here. I personally believe that if I broke them up individually, I could make more money completing other people's sets which is a lot of picture taken, a lot of work just to do. How about five? Can you do five for me? I'll meet you in the middle, and I'll do 400. OK, let's All do right. 400. Sounds Thank you. good. Chum, you want to go write them up? Yep. I'll meet you over here. OK, good. I thought I'd get maybe $50, $100, and I came out with $400. I think I'm a winner.